Salt Travel Co. You may know us, Danielle and Jairo, from our Costa Rica travel guides. We are now in Guatemala and we're really excited to bring you along. We've got lots of new content coming up, so hit subscribe. We are here in the very north of Guatemala, well known for the massive archaeological site known as Tikal, which was covered in the jungle and lost to the world from 900 BC all the way until the early 19th century. That's nearly a thousand years that the city was protected from Spanish conquistadors, dictators, pillaging and plundering. We'll dive in quickly to some history and interesting information about Tikal. And then at the end, we'll cover the highlights that you have to see, admission costs, getting there, where to stay, etc. So if you want to jump ahead down below, you will see the chapters. Once a thriving Mayan city, thought to be the grandest and richest of its time. The ruins are some of the largest in Mesoamerica. Only a small portion is uncovered. Researchers and aerial investigation reveal that the original city was probably some 47 miles squared. And it included sports arenas, residential areas, political centers, royal palaces, schools, and even a library. Keep that in mind when planning your visit, that you are coming to see an entire city. Having an informative and entertaining guide will mean the difference between wandering around some very old building material here and there. Bienvenidos y bienvenidas todos al Parque Nacional Tikal. Welcome. Or getting an educated glimpse into a mysterious ancient world with clues and insights into their beliefs, advanced celestial knowledge, statues and art hieroglyphs, and even their hobbies and pastimes. Undoubtedly, most people's favorite part of a visit to Tikal is getting up at four o'clock in the morning. Well, that's not their favorite part, but what comes next certainly is. You make your way to the 70 foot tall pyramid. Climb to the top and join the crowd of people silently waiting as the sun rises. The sounds and breathtaking views definitely make getting up early worth it. And speaking of sounds, another highlight is the wildlife you will encounter. Howler monkeys' cries add to the jungly mystical feel. This is also one of the few places where you are very likely to see spider monkeys as well. Admission to the park is not just one simple ticket. There are several, in fact. There's the general admission, which is 150 quetzales, or about 22 US dollars as well as additional tickets you have to purchase if you want to do the morning, sunrise, or evening sunset experiences. These are 100 quetzales, or about $14 per person per event. Admission needs to be paid in cash at either of these two local banks, of which there are several locations throughout the country. You can also pay at the park entrance, although they recommend you do it at the bank if possible. Keep in mind that if you're planning on entering the park at 4 o'clock in the morning, you have to do all of this at least the day prior or up to one month in advance. 
Our tour guide picked up the money from us the day before and went and got the bank deposit slips for us. Children 9 and under are free. This brings us to where to stay. The area is beautiful. Peten Itza Lake is really stunning with Caribbean hues and white sand areas. A popular place to stay on the lake is the island of Flores. I think this area deserves three or four days easily so that you can do both the lake and the archaeological ruins. I would recommend at least a night inside the park at the Jungle Lodge. That website is linked below. Keep in mind there are lots of other Mayan ruins throughout Guatemala and in fact there are a couple more in this area if you want to check those out as well. So now how do you get here? Lidica bus line offers an overnight bus from Guatemala City that takes around 10 hours. You can also fly for about $100 a person each way. You can then shuttle, taxi or bus the rest of the way. If you feel like going with a tour group, you can find several different outfits that offer group trips, including transportation to and from Guatemala City or Antigua. We've never done that route, so we can't personally recommend any other organizations. Maybe the most fascinating thing is that no one knows why it was abandoned. Combinations of theories including drought and lack of natural resources are some very likely explanations. Similarly, there are many areas yet to be excavated inside of the park, hiding unknown treasure and information. Thanks to meticulous note-taking via the carved glyphs, we have attained tons of information directly from the Mayans, including 800 years of king successions, including a queen. I hope you enjoy a visit to Tikal as much as we did. There's so much to learn on the topic and more being discovered all the time. We'll see you next time. Happy travels. Hello world, wake me up to another girl.